Oh shit. Hello, this is Taryn and Schofield with Josh, aka Joshua Roberts. Uh, we've already done the roll uh, to see who's going to go first, and of course, Josh is going first. Yep, I like so we've shuffled our decks. It's going to be soldiers versus uh, goblins, as time as Naya failed epically. <laughs> yep, so he's going to try and get some revenge. So here we go, we're going to draw our hands. Okay, I'm going to mully on purely because six land hand. Yeah, I'm going to keep. I'm going to have six. Again, guys, I'd like to say thank you for watching these videos. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more. Yep. Uh, it's going to be me and Josh all the way. Um, we are going to have the Magic Field, and we're going to have another show that we're going to announce sometime soon. Yep. Uh, we're not going to put give any details yet, but we're going to have another sh show. It's going to be another card game. It's not going to be MTG, uh, but it should be good, shouldn't it? Yep. It's, uh, it's, it's something that's a speciality of Josh. Yeah, this is uh, so Magic is more of Tarrant's game than mine. Uh, the new game we're going to be doing, which we, this, we don't want to really spoil for you guys, is another popular card game that it's actually my speciality rather than Magic being kind of my second game. Yep, so we are, we're just going to expand on the viewer, try and get more viewers in. So, let's see how it's all going to go. Um, I think Josh is done shuffling here. Yep, sorry, uh, got distracted. Okay, yep, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, um, yeah, I can keep that. Okay, uh, mountain play, tap. Goblin Guide. Goblin. Haste. Yep, so it's a 2 2 haste. I reveal the top, and yep. if it's a land, comes into my hand. Yes, that is correct. It's not. It's Captain of the Watch. It stays on the top. It stays on the top, and you take two, so you are down to 18. 18 oh, to me. Yours. So obviously, I know what I'm getting here. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. <laughs> I'm going to play a Plains. Yep. Uh, I'm going to tap for one to suspend. Knight of Xerzy, so it removes from the game, gets three time cows on it. Yes. Um, uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter. So at the beginning of my turn, it removes the time counter. When all time counters are gone, it comes onto the field. Ooh, a bit of time shift. I yep. Believe. Yep. So it's got flying and flanking. <laughs> Bomb. So when it, uh, whenever a creature blocks, the other creature get, the other creature gets minus one, minus one. Yes. So it's your turn. Uh, going for two. So another two. Yep. Sword of body and mind. So lovely card. Uh, I'm gonna say yours. So I'm down to sixteen. Yep. So I'll see. Uh, Josh, this is not exactly a bad thing that Josh is going to land behind here because he just got Goblin Guide. He's already got me down to sixteen. So, so it's yeah. not too bad. Also, this deck has very little high cost. You know, its highest cost is a five, and that's for the end game card. So uh, tap for two for Elite Inquisitor. Uh, down to two, two. Counts on that side. Uh, it's a first strike vigilance protection for vampires, werewolves, and zombies. I am none of which. <laughs> yeah, it's got vigilance as well. Ooh, nice card. Gotta be a yeah, sure. uh, Your turn, mate. It is a Ah, mountain. Mountain, yeah. I'm going to play. What is it? A 2 2. Mm hmm. Alright, okay. I'm going to attack two for. Goblin Shortcutter, his ability is that when Goblin Shortcutter enters the battlefield, target creature can't block this turn. I'm going to target your elite Inquisitor. Thing, Inquisitor. And I'm going to swing in for two with Goblin Guide. So we've got another two coming out of me, so I'm going to be going down to 14. Yep, and real. It's a Ballet Rush Banneret. Okay, that's back on top. So no card advantage, so he's gone, done quite well with Goblin Guide. Okay, yep, uh, your turn. Or down down to, to one on my night. So the next upkeep it comes into play a bit, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, another land. Um, Am I only one land behind? Or two? One. It's one. I'm going to say play Bally Rush Banneret. It makes Kithkins and Soldiers cost one less to play. Oh, 
Um, I'm going to strike him for two with five strike and vigilance. Mm, so it's two. He's got five strike, yeah. And vigilance. So if I block, it's not going to really. Yeah, okay. it's extra turn on to 18. 18 indeed. Rob's on four, uh, Taran's on 14, I'm on 18. Yep. Okay. So it's your turn. turn? Yep. Nice. I'm going to tap in the two for incinerate. So he's casting incinerate on my Knight of Elite Acquisitor. Yep. That's dead. Uh, quite a nice card. Uh, actually, I hope that's an M13. I do like that card. I'm going to swing in four, four. Um, I think this has gotten to the point where I am actually going to block. Do I still? Yes, it's still, it's still. So, so I reveal that now. You do that now. You think you do that, you do that first? I suppose it's your hand. Yeah. Uh, uh, Place it into my hand. Um, you're going to block Goblin Guy. Correct. Okay, so you're going to take two. two. That Rob Taran down to 12. Goblin Guy is now dead. Yep. Staple Goblin card. <laughs> goblin Short Cutter is tapped, and I've got no mana available. And one, two, four cards in hand, and it's your turn. Just like to remember that Knight of he comes down with haste when it comes in. Oh, not so that's bad. the advantage of flanking, so he's got haste. Aha, uh -huh. and it's also flying and, and flanking. Oh. So whenever a creature blocks it, that creature gets plus one, minus one, minus one. Forever, or just for that? Uh, for two end of turn. Oh, okay, so it's not going to block it, I can't even block it anyway, can I? Hmm. Uh, I think we're going to play... No, they're swinging for two. Okay, I take two, because I can't block. Yep, so Josh is down to 16. 16. And then I'm going to play Elite Vanguard. Oh, very nice, very nice. And then play the Sword of Body and Mind. Oh, nice turn there. I played Dead Regiment. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, mate. Oh, oh my god. Mana, mana, mana. In these videos, I do tend to not have, to run out of mana quite easily. Hmm. Um, I don't really want to attack. What do I? For Captain, I want something to come around. Uh, do you want it? Uh, a lot of leap angle. Um, I can get rid of that if it parks off. Okay, yeah, I'm going to not attack. Uh, uh, I'm going to swing in for two. Oh, I'll block the vanguard. Yep, I thought you would. I'm going to say yours. I'm actually... This is going to go downhill from here now, guys. Another Josh lost his proudest moment on YouTube moments. Can we play Elspeth Terrell? Oh, I'm going to put... Gonna gain to six and gain one life for each creature you control. So it's only one. One, yep. So you're on to, you you are now on thirteen Taran. Then attack Josh for two. Okay, so I'm down to fourteen. Yep. Your turn. Right, okay. After this turn we are gonna have to cut it into part two. I'm gonna play Goblin Arsonist. Mm-hmm. Ugh, dear, dear. I believe what we might do with this match is have it as best out of three. Yes, we will. Um, we're actually going to end it at part one here. Yep. Uh, life totals end on Towering on 13, uh, Josh or me on 14, and when we come back, it'll be the start of Towering's turn. This is round one out of three. See you, next, see you in part two, guys.